Okay, boys. Our first game is going to be... Welcome to Season 9, first off. Our first game is going to be... Auto Attack... Except. Just as the dead obey. And here's why. Because there's an item, a glyph rather, in the game that with Rod of Tahuti, I believe it's Rod of Tahuti, every 40 power you have, you get 2% attack speed. So I'm going to build Book of Thoth. I'm going to build Telkind's Ring. I'm going to build Ring of Hakate. And I'm going to build as much power as possible. And then I'm going to get this right here. This. Every 40 magical power you have, you gain 2% attack speed. It costs 3,600 gold, so it's expensive. Don't get me wrong. But it's definitely worth it. It's so worth it. Do any of these give attack speed, by the way? I have the jungle gives 10%. Nothing else gives attack speed. Alright, I have the jungle it is. Um, and then I want to go into Book of Thoth. I want to get some power online. Oh my god, and relics. I forgot relics are cracked right now. Meditation got a buff. Meditation got a buff, so it's even better than what it was in the beginning. So I'm going to start with meditation. That seems like the best thing. Um, Might's been revitalized. Well, that's Atlas. I thought that was Ymir. No cap. All right. Boom. There we go. Dude, I just stunned him out of picking me up. You don't own me. I'm going to auto attack the shit out of you in a minute. And then... And then... I'm going to upgrade Blink, too. They have new this new Blink. because So, with Relics, every single Relic got a Tier 3 upgrade. Um, If you don't know, by the way, the changes in the patch, I have a video up about it, which you can go and watch. It's basically just me reviewing the patch notes and telling you my thoughts about everything. But... Yeah, so th there's Tier 3 upgrades. Relics that you can upgrade cost 800 gold to get the max rank of them, but they are so good. And there's one uh, called Scorching Blink. It's basically upgrade. It's a tier three version of Blink. And what it does is it does a crap ass ton of damage. It does a hundred true damage per tick, and it takes eight times. And it's like an Agni buff. So if they like. Or it's, a, it's like an Agni 3. So if they run through it, it's going to tick all those times. Over and over and over and over. So you're basically just absolutely fucking. You don't scare me. Also, I'm naked. What's good? I'm dead to Atlas Alt. Oh, punch him in the head. Punch him in the head. He's got shell, dude. He's too sick with it. Oh, he got me, bro. He's cracked. He's cracked. Also, shout out Legendary Bacon Warrior and Wage Bacon. Thank you guys for the subs. Shout out Bacon Squad. He's actually cracked, though. Can I please get my Book of Thoth? Thank you. It will bring um, fortune. okay, so now that I have Book of Thought, I can start going some attack speed. So I'm going to go Telkines because it's 90 power and Ring of Hecate because it's 90 power. Again, I want to make sure I'm focusing a lot on my power because with the item I'm going to go, which with the upgraded, um, I, I guess tier four Rod of Tahuti. What is it called? The Nimble Rod of Tahuti. Once I get that... My attack speed is going to go through the fucking roof and we're going to clap so hard. Also, does that mean that since it's based on how much power you have, based on how much power you have, oh my God, fresh made cookies. That means when I get red buff, I have faster attack speed. 
Is red buff like a pseudo purple? Ouch. Get away from you. I mean me. But also you. Absolutely clobbered. Jesus Christ, that alt does numbies. But dude, with the nimble rod of Tahuti, you no longer need to worry about getting mages attack speed cap. Any mage can be attack speed cap. Nox, attack speed cap. No worries. Like, any of them. Even if they have no... Oh my god. Even if they have no steroid at all. Yeah, red buff will give me some more attack speed. Are you gonna fuck me? I feel like he wants to have sex with me. And I don't wanna. Okay, um, let's get the the attack speed this item. Dude, notice how tier two nimble rod is three thousand gold. <laughs> <coughs> By the way, uh, glyphs are only on very certain items or very specific items. Not every item has a glyph, but <clears throat> if an item has a glyph, it is 600 gold more than what the final item cost. Like, like tier three rod of Tahuti cost 3000 gold. So the glyph for it is going to cost 3,600. But it's not it's not a new thirty six hundred. It's it's six hundred more than you know tier three. Oh my god, he's alting me! Help! All right, actual clapsual. I can't wait to get my attack speed online, man. I am excited about it. Does he have blue? He does. Okay. So what meditation upgrades are there? Because I bought med. So there's this one, which pulses your cooldowns. It reduces your cooldowns by six seconds, which is insane. And this one, which gives you an, a protective barrier that knocks enemies back 15 units. Can you buy more than one glyph item? Yes, you can buy as many glyph items as you want. I could buy Nimble Rod of Tahuti, Breastplate of Vigilance, and Amulet of Stronghold if I wanted. So, now, the, the reason the I'm saying it like that is because um, <clears throat> but you can't buy two glyphs of the same item. You have to pick a glyph per item. But as a mage, I can buy three different items that have glyphs. So I can buy three different glyphed items. All right, I got Blink. I really want to spend the gold to upgrade to Scorching Blink already. Because I want to see how much damage that really pumps out. There's a clip of somebody uh, getting hit for twelve or 2100 damage from Scorching Blink. So I want to see just how good it is. I'll grab my Red Boy. I'll back. I should be able to afford it. It's 800 gold. So I want to get it immediately. <clears throat> Alright, I now have Scorching Blink. He upgraded his Relic to Fortifying Shell, which basically means that when he shells, he gets 20% damage mitigation and 20% move speed. Alright, so I have to blink past him. In order to in order to use my, my Scorching Blink, I have to blink past him. You're playing very scared. Are you a scared boy? I suck. Christoph, thank you for the sub. Oh! Alright, we're just gonna clear. I really want a scorching blink him. Like, I know there's gonna be an opportunity at some point this game. But I really want to do it right now.
Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my god, look how much damage that fucking did, bro. How much did that do? My Scorching Blink did 700 damage. My Relic. My Blink to get closer to him did 700 damage. And by the way, that's true damage. That's not damage that he can mitigate. That's true damage. Literally true damage. It says it right here. Leaving behind a trail of wildfire that deals 20 true damage plus 4 true damage per um, level to enemies that pass through it. What the fuck? Man. That's incredible. And that's not even max damage, by the way, because I can still get... I can get to level 20. It's It goes up per level I get. That's insane, man. What the... What the? Okay, stop, though. I'm stuck! What the fuck? Do not fear death. Okay. We got Telkines now. And now I gotta now I can start building into more damage. Like more power oriented items. I mean every item I have here is really power oriented, but I'm talking like Polynomicon. Um probably Polynomicon and then Rod, right? Like because Polly's gonna give me how much power? 95 power, which is really good. And then Rod is going to give me all the attack speed. Alright. My Scorching Blink is up, which means I'm pretty sure I kill him for free. Um, Red is not up. So when he sucks me into that two, am I supposed to be CC'd like that? Is that a change they made? Or is that something, or is that like something different? Does a Scorching Blink work on minions? Is my question. Time to find out. It does. It does work on minions. Okay. Oh no. It's clobbering time, boys. <laughs> Oh my god. He does so much damage to me. He does so much damage to me. Alright. Go Polly. Will Scorching Blink let support solo squishies? Probably. Yeah. Like. <clears throat> like imagine. Imagine a Kepri. Scorching Blinking you. For 1200 damage. And you're the mage. <laughs> like, like it would just it would just shit on you. Now to be fair, I lost that fight because he has all of his relics and I scorching blinked my enemy. Uh my 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 bull demon. But sometimes that's just how it be. I'm excited, dude. I'm excited for this. So I'm almost level 20. And I can get this, I guess. Gives me physical protection. I don't want physical protection. But nothing gives me magical protection, so fuck it. I guess I'll take physical. Is he building attack speed? Welcome to 
Okay. Oh, I went for the scorching blink kill and he predicted it. He predicted it with the other way. Ow. Okay. We got the kill. I have no idea what his Sunder does, but it links me to him somehow. For the next four seconds, they deal 5% true damage. And you receive half of that amount as healing. So he just heals 10% of his HP. And I lose 20% of mine. And he could do that twice. Okay, that explains why I got dumpstered in that one fight where he double sundered me. So basically, just make sure that he never double sunders or you're dead, dumbass. Understood. Done. Oh, baby. <clears throat> All right, I really want to get Rod. Oh, I, I, I know. I'm getting Rod here. Um, I just published it, baby. Just now. I'm getting Rod here so that I can get my, my glyph ready. Only cost 600 gold, so I should get it pretty soon. Relics are way stronger than items in Season 9. At least that's how it is right now. I don't think there's any specific item that's like... I, I, when I think about items, I'm not like, okay, I think the extra 10% pen or the extra 5% pen from Void Shield is going to carry the game. I think, okay, Scorching Blink and and the upgraded Glyph item from Rod are going to frag, you know? like. All right, so this just gave me 30% attack speed. Look at my attack speed now. Getting the glyph gave me 40 or 30% attack speed. I'm still missing two finished items. And I have 1.9 attack speed. I have no red buff. I have no 500 pot. We got places to be, boys. Oh my god. I'm so excited. <laughs> Alright, where are you at? Are you hiding? You hiding? Fight me. All right, fine. Fine. Oh, he got it too. He got Nimble Rod too. And he got Shoguns. <laughs> All right, I have 1.9 attack speed. I, keep, I pick up Red Buff and I have 1.96 attack speed. Also, I can go finish my poly, which will give me another 30 power, which will probably give me another 2% attack speed. It did. Let's fucking go. Dude, imagine like, like Freya or Kronos or Soul or like any of these super OP already, already OP uh, magical ADCs that just get to fit in a Rod of Tahuti as an attack speed item now, you know? You're not just getting Rod. You're getting attack speed with it. It's so good. Right, where are you at? <clears throat> mm. Oh, I'm dead. Ow. Okay. Oh my god, bro. Did you see? Did you just see though? Like my sunder my smoldering, what is it called? Scorching blink did a thousand damage. My scorching blink did a thousand true damage during that fight. I just started the fight by roasting for a thousand damage. Oh my 
god dude like what and it's just allowed like it's just okay <laughs> what the fuck? oh my god and you have so much attack speed just because of the thing i'm dead by the way never mind easy peasy lemon squeezy i'm alive oh no <laughs> assist me boys oh my god he's got so much attack speed. does scorching work on titan yes it does yes it does i'm gonna sell this and go more attack speed Actually, it does give 35%, huh? Just 30% 30, 30 here with an 105 power. Uh, I mean, I'll just do this one, I guess. And then we'll get a red pot because that gives me attack speed. Oh, wait, I think my thing broke. My attack speed re relic broke. Does it slowly convert it? It's broken right now. It only gives me two. That's not cool. Oh, my attack speed. <laughs> it's only giving me a little bit of attack speed right now. Is your rod broke too? Yes. <laughs> Okay, never mind. It's not just me, so we're okay. It's Geb all over again. Okay, I'm gonna Scorching Blink the Titan. Never mind. He's a cheater. Oh, but I healed for 1400 anyways. GG, Giga Gamer. That was actually so much fun. For my first experience of Season 9, I was not expecting to have that much fun with it. And here we are, having a hell of a lot of fun.